I was fortunate to survive an attack, a painful story that seemed to be deep in hell and insurmountable. But my mother and sister died in that attack by the murderer. I couldn't see what was happening to Megan or Mom, but I had to listen as he battered my mother and sister multiple times with a hammer. As I desperately tried to free myself to help my family, he attacked me repeatedly and left me for dead. If you're not brave enough, quickly scroll through this video. The following story will be terrifying. This is my story. At first, everything was blurred and hazy in my memory. It was like dreaming, a dark, terrifying dream that I was always trying to wake up from. But after waking up from that horrifying dream, I had to face the harsh reality that no, it wasn't a nightmare. It was the truth. I, Josie, the nine-year-old daughter of the Russell family, survived the bloody attack of a murderer on July 9, 1996. My mother, my sister, and even our dog Lucy, all were no more. I was the only survivor, but survival left me with deep physical and emotional wounds. In the morning, my father, Sean, took me and my sister Megan to school before going to work. That afternoon, my mother, Lynn, walked with our dog Lucy to pick us up after a swimming competition. We saw a man in a car. I waved at him as we walked by. He got out of the car and demanded money. My mother said she didn't have money, but she offered to go home to get it. After the man refused, my mother told me to run, but he caught me and pulled me back. He ripped our towels and used the scraps to tie my hands behind my back. He also tied me to a tree. He blindfolded me and said he was just going to leave us and drive away. He calmly stated he didn't mean to hurt us, but that was completely contrary to the truth. I couldn't see what was happening to Megan or Mom, but I had to listen as he hit them multiple times with a hammer. As I tried to free myself to help my family, he attacked me repeatedly and left me for dead. I couldn't imagine how anyone could be so cold and inhumane as to feel no guilt. I couldn't comprehend how I survived. To this day, we still can't imagine, given the injuries I had to endure. The first day I woke up in the hospital, I couldn't speak, couldn't express the pain and fear haunting me. But seeing my father, Sean, sitting by my bed, his eyes filled with sorrow and loss, I knew I couldn't give up. For my father, for my mother and sister. After many months of surgery, recovery and resuscitation, I gradually was able to move and talk again. And in that recovery process, I worked with the police to track down the man who had devastated our lives. One day, I felt an extraordinary strength emerge within me, a belief that I could overcome everything. I believe that was when God came to me, he pulled me out of the pain and gave me the strength to continue life. I felt God's presence not through words, but through feelings in my soul. I knew God was always with me, helping me face the pain and guiding me on this difficult path. I became a part of the investigation to find out who attacked my family. Though the process was incredibly difficult and painful, I did not give up. I did my best and finally after a year, the police arrested Michael Stone, the man who took everything from me. But even after the villain was brought to light, the path to recovery was still long and arduous. I had to learn to live with my wounds, both physically and mentally. But under the guidance of God, I found faith and strength to continue life. Over time, I learned that I was not just a victim. I am a victor, someone who stood strong in the face of trials and kept moving forward. I learned how to forgive myself and the one who caused me pain. God showed me that, Though life can bring unbearable pain, we can still find light, love, and peace. I want to send a message to everyone that, no matter the pain, disappointment, or difficulty you are enduring, never give up. God will always walk with you, no matter how lost and lonely you may feel. Believe in the peace and light that God brings, and believe that you will overcome.